And we're going to finish. This is the first chapter of The Grey King, which is called The Oldest Hills. Will is in Wales and has just met his cousin Reese and the person who may very well be the enemy of this story, Caradog Pritchard, who did not de deign to help Reese with a popped tire on his Land Rover, just kind of made fun of him. And I will apologize if these Welsh accents I've come up with are not 100%, and certainly the Welsh words are probably not pronounced right either. I believe we are given a phonetics lesson on that later in the book, and I will try to adhere to that. But let's pick up where we left off. Ha! Reese said. Caradog Pritchard is not well known for helping. What did he say? He let me know how amusing it was to see me stuck, and some things about a disagreement we have of no importance, and asked who you were. Reese spun his spanner, losing the wheelbase, and glanced up with a shy conspiratorial grin. A good job of our mothers. A good job our mothers were not listening. I was not polite. I said you were my cousin, and none of his bloody business. Was he cross? Reese paused reflectively. He said, we shall see about that. Will looked up the valley road where the van had disappeared. That's a funny thing to say. Oh, said Reese. That is Kerry Dog. His hobby is to make people feel uncomfortable. Nobody likes him, except his dogs, and he doesn't even like them. He tugged at the injured wheel. Sit still up there now. We shan't be long. By the time... He climbed back into the driving seat, rubbing his hands on an oily rag. The fine drizzle had turned to real rain. The dark hair was curling wet over his head. Well, Reese said, it's, this is nice old weather to greet you, I must say, but it won't last. We shall have a good bit of sun yet, off and on, before the winter bites down on us. Will gazed out at the mountains, dark and distant, swinging into view as they drove along the road, crossing the valley. Gray-white cloud hung ragged high hung ragged round the highest hills. Their tops invisible behind the mist, he said. The clouds all tattered round the tops of the mountains. Perhaps it's breaking up. Reese looked out casually. The breath of the Grey King? No, I'm sorry to tell you. Will, that's supposed to be a bad sign. Will sat very st still. A great rushing sound in his ears. He gripped the edge of his seat until the metal bit, his, bit at his fingers. What did you call it? The cloud? Oh, when it hangs ragged like that, we call it the breath of the Brennan Lude, the Grey King. He is supposed to live up there, on the highland. It's just one of the old stories, Reese glanced sideways at him, and then braked suddenly. The Land Rover slowed almost to a halt. Will, are you all right? Why as a ghost you look? Are you feeling bad? No, uh, no, it was just... Will was staring out at the grey mass of the hills. It was just... The Grey King. The Grey King. It's part of something I used to know. Something I was supposed to remember for always. I would thought I'd lost it. Perhaps, perhaps it's going to come back. Reese clashed the car back into gear. Oh, he called cheerfully through the noise. We'll get you better. You just wait. Anything can happen in these old hills. And that is the end of The Oldest Hills.